Hello ladies and gents, I'm just coming on to show you a quick tutorial on a quick vintage tag. I'm going to try and do it as quick as possible. I've just got a small piece of um, cardstock. It's quite a thick cardstock. If you don't have any chipboard or thick cardboard to hand, just double up on some cereal packets or some other cardstock. This measures about, what have I done? I just cut it randomly to be honest, four and a half by eight. And I've just um, squared off the, uh, you know, rounded off the corners. I just sanded them a bit because I cut it a bit uneven. And then I've just, for quickness, I've just quickly layered it with paper. This is the front and this is the back. And this is the um, Gilded Lilla uh, Graphic 45. That's the paper stack that I'm using. And I've just used double sided um, sticky tape, to be honest, is what I've used. And I just want to. Um, just uh, just rag up the corners a little bit because um, it's going to be kind of shabby, vintage style. Um, although I will say I don't really have an exact style. I just do what I like and I use whatever colours I want and I use uh, whatever I feel like. <laughs> Um, but I do think that my work's classed as, well, I call it shabby vintage. But there's no set hard and fast rules. There's no specific um, dictation for what is or what isn't anything in particular. You just do what you feel. Um, I think I'm going to lay down some more paper kind of over the top like that. Let's have a look. Right, and I'm just going to kind of rip it, oh, which is making me feel like a bit poorly because it's got beautiful lilies on the other side. Oh well, never mind, it's on the paper. <laughs> right, so I'm just going to rip the edges really randomly. Um, it's quite late at night, so I may well have to um, pause my filming and come back to it. Because um, I might have to get my little one to bed, to be honest. I'm trying to do about 10 jobs at once here. Right, I'm going to, yeah, I'm happy with that. So I'm going to just lay that down. Again, I'm going to use, for quickness, double-sided tape. Um, just because it's a bit of a video for yourselves to get a bit of a inspiration. I'm probably not teaching you anything new, but it, it, sometimes it's just nice to watch other people craft, isn't it? You don't even necessarily have to be teaching anybody anything. Um, I just like making things and now I've got my, my lovely new camera and my husband has finally uh, upgraded my internet speed so I will be able to do a lot, lot, lot more. So there'll be a lot more coming from me, a lot more tutorials um, in and between uh, everything else that I do. I don't, there's not enough fact I could do with about another... I'd be all right, I reckon, if I had an extra 12 hours in the day. And then I reckon I'd get everything done. I'd be fine. I'd be perfect. Right, so I'm going to just... Do I want to... I think I might just distress them edges with a bit of distress ink as well. Uh, started a new pad on this and it's not... I think they soon dry up some of these. I'm not, I'm not sure. It might just be me. I'm just going to... I should have done this before I put the tape on, but oh well. A bit of distress ink on there. This is vintage photo. This one, no, it isn't. I'm lying, it's Victorian velvet. Uh, using my lovely tool that my friend bought, uh, gave me. Bless her. Thanks, G. Quite lucky, I've got some awesome friends. Again, no hard and fast rule to how you do anything. Just do it as you feel. I just want this to look a little bit like... I could, might put some more ink on that later. I'm not sure yet. Right, so I'm, I just want to put that down at a bit of an angle so that it looks like a different... There we go. And then I'm going to distress ink the edges. I've got my glue gun warmed up. Ready. 
to use because I'm going to put some lovely, lovely, luscious laces. Luscious laces. Try saying that when you've had a Bacardi and Coke. <laughs> luscious laces. Yeah, I'm going to put some lace on. Got to have some lace on. It's got to be done. Just covering up, really I'm just um, kind of covering up the edge of that board there because we don't want a nasty white line showing. We want it to be nice and... Nice and... Uh, uh, not white. <laughs> right. I'm just going to... Mm. Don't seem to be very juicy, this pad. I'm just going to now, I'm just going to add a little bit extra ink around the edges, just a little bit. Um, although probably by the time I've put my lace on, you might not be able to see it an awful lot, but just where there's bits peeping through, I just want it that little bit darker around the edges to make it a bit more uh, vintage, I suppose. I might even go in with a darker distress ink when I've done, I don't know yet. No, I think I'm going to leave it like that. Right, and I'll just gently do around the back. And then my glue gun should be ready to put the lace on that I want to put on. There we go. Some... Are, 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 I think I watched a video somewhere that told you to dis to store your distress inks upside down. Whether that's absolute try, I couldn't tell you. It might be. <laughs> might be codswallop. Right. So I've got some of this lovely gathered lace here. Just wondering whether to zoom in slightly. Yeah, I think I will. Hope my battery don't go. <laughs> um, why shall we start? Because it's a gathered one and I don't like joining them. I think I'm going to start in this bottom corner. Uh, in fact, I'll start in this corner because I know I'll be putting something in this corner. So if it looks a bit of a mess, I can cover it up with some um, bit of hot glue. If you just do it a bit at a time so it doesn't dry before you get your lace on. Give it a good press so you don't get any hard... You know, sometimes lace can feel, if you glue lace, sometimes it can feel a bit hard. So if you press on really well, then you'll avoid that happening. Let's go up to there and then go around the corner. It's not, you just follow it round, give it a bit of a pinch and a tuck as you go. It's not difficult. Let's have a look. Yeah, that's pretty. A bit more glue around there. Bit of a squeeze, bit of a squeeze. You just kind of pinch it and it'll just go around the corner. When it's gathered, it's it, it's not really that, you don't notice if you don't do it exactly right, but if it's quite flat, you need to really pinch it, you know, and kind of like pleat it in around the corners. But as I say, when it's a gathered one, it don't really, it don't really matter. Blue strands. Around the corner, bit of a pinch at each corner, bit of a pinch, and all the way down. Try and be a bit quick. You don't want to watch a really long video. Uh, now I know I'm going to put something at the bottom of there, so I think I'm just going to cut that lace off. There's no point wasting it going around the bottom here. When I know I'm going to put something else on the bottom, so I may as well. Oh, wrong scissors. So I may as well just cut that off there like that. Yep, let's have a look. Trim that off nice and tidy. So we've got that so far. I might put another layer around there later, I'm not sure. Right, so what have we got? Let's have a look. Let's have a look. I did have mm, some little words. Yeah. I'm going to just. I've got this metal piece here. I'm just curving it round and I'm going to stick it at the top of there like that. 
So I'm just going to glue that and glue there. I'm just going to stick it at the top and it's kind of like standing proud from the tag now because I've bent it into shape. Okay, like that. Okay, can you see that? These metal pieces are awesome. So you've got some nice dimension there. And then I have just cut this little phrase out which really should have backed onto black card and it says c'est magnifique um, and I'm just going to in fact I'm going to cheat and I'm just going to use hot glue and I'm going to put it across my metal piece like so there we go so it's like a little almost looks like a handle doesn't it I don't know <laughs> c'est magnifique that's <laughs> all you need to know isn't it right uh, I've got some of this lovely lace let's have a look I'm going to shall we have cream or pink I think I'm out of pink actually can't go wrong with pink let's have a look mm, I do like it I do I do I do let's cut it uh, do I want to cut it now or do I want to cut it after I've glued it? No, I'll cut it now. <laughs> I know what I'm doing. Honest. <laughs> I don't. I'm making it up as I go along. I've got an absolutely no idea what I'm doing. Right. I'm just going to glue that across there. And put this one on. I love this pleated chiffon. Um, It's a double layered one. Is it double or is it triple? No, it's double. Absolutely stunning. Right, what else are we going to put on? I think I'm going to have Marie Antoinette. Um, I fussy cut her out with a pair of very small embroidery scissors. These are my favourite for um, fussy cutting, to be honest, because they've got the nice sharp points and the really good quality ones. You can get some cheaper ones of these that don't cost as much. They probably work just as well. Um, so... You, you know anything with a sharp point like that will do um and then i have edged her with again the um victorian velvet i'm gonna actually i think i'm gonna put her on dimensionals let me just get some because i want her to stand out a bit let me see let's put her on some pop dots we'll have uh, one there Oh, I can hear movement upstairs. I might have to go in a minute. One there. One there. And one there. I get these from, um, how do I get them? Range, I think. They're like a pound for loads. They're not expensive. I'll put one there. I'll put one in a red. <laughs> Uh, she's going to need one on a fan and because it's uh, it was quite a delicate cut out that so that will need some support uh, so again this was cut from the gilded lily paper and it was out of this section where you get like these bits with the tags and you just fussy cut them out and use how you want I'm not very good at it myself because my eyesight's like shocking. But you've got to try everything. Try your hand at every craft that you can. Try your hand at every, you know, technique. Uh, every style. Uh, fiddly, fiddly, fiddly. I'm a bit tired to be honest because I've been in Meadow Hall all day. Well, Meadow Hell we call it. All day with Alexia. I'm trying to find her a new winter coat. Right, so I'm going to just stick Marie into Newt. I don't know if it is Marie Antoinette, but I'm assuming it's meant to be. I'm going to stick her. I don't want her quite in the centre. I don't think, do I? No, because I'm going to put some flowers. So I'm just putting her just a little bit. There, like that. Which she look pretty there. Lovely, lovely. Right, I need to do something with this bottom bit here. Uh, I think we'll have some of this. 
I've got this lovely lace here which is a broderie on glaze. It's meant to feed like a ribbon through it I think but I've got another idea instead. There we go, we'll have it like that. That one's cut in there. Let's have a look, does that look nice? Mm -hmm -hmm. It sure does. Right, oh cracker. I'm going in a bit of a mess here now. Never mind, it'll tidy up. I'll end up going to bed and tidying it up tomorrow. So just more hot glue and then I'm just going to lay that over the top and just gently press. Just be careful if you do this because it is obviously hot. Pull it up a bit because I've just put it down a little bit, just a fraction too low there. Not too wet, it's all right is that. Right, so there we go. Now I'm going to, I have got a really pretty, I really quite like that I think. Hmm, don't know, I can't always make my mind up on things straight away sometimes. Yeah, I think I'm going to have that. I'm going to have that wedding a plate on there. I'm just going to, oh, these are wrong scissors, what am I doing? Yep, no messing, wedding applique on that. I bought my first ever second hand wedding dress the other day to cut up, to go in kits and stuff from a shop and to use myself. I'm not selling them in bundles, can't be bothered. <laughs> Takes too long to come up. Right, I'm just gonna lay that over the top of there like that. Lots and lots of layers for nice shabby, 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 shabby. Let's have a look. Do I want that? I don't know. Don't know now. <laughs> Let's have a look. I might put this rosette one down. Because we don't want to be faffing about for too long. No reason you can't just get on with things. Oh, that's pretty. I'm having that there. So we'll have that. Rosette. Just there. And then I'm going to put one of got this beautiful thing from um, Emily's uh, trinket parlour but I'm thinking of saving that for a... Ah! Use one of these. Let's have a look. Nice bit of bling. Just get your hot glue on them, don't be worried about it and just nestle that in there. Oh, that looks pretty. Just like that. Oh, look at that. Isn't that pretty? Do I need to zoom out a bit? Am I, I'll zoom in a little bit so you can have a look and then I'll zoom out again. <laughs> I might get a bit dizzy. Right. What else do we need on there? I know what we need. We need some lilies. Maybe some bows. Uh, have I got a little bow that I could put on there? That would be really pretty. Hmm. I'm not sure. Let's get some lilies on and then we'll have a think. These are beautiful, these lilies. I absolutely love them. Let's have a look. All right. Let's have a think where we're going to lay these. Flower arranging is not my strong point. I'm not absolutely brilliant at it. I'm still very much learning with a lot of my crafting. Don't profess to be a professional at all. Um, far from it. That's pretty. Some of them on there. But sometimes you can fuss a bit too much over things, can't you? So I'm just going to get on with it. And whatever turns out, turns out. Stick these little foam lilies all over. 
And then I'm gonna, what else shall we have? Let's have a look, ooh. Should have some baby's breaths. Mmm, these are pretty. Ooh, I'll we'll have some of these, these are nice. I'll have one of these. Just choose whatever you've got. <laughs> I'm literally just grabbing things off my desk here. Uh, let's have a look. Just to add some pops of colour. Oh, that's pretty. Mm -mm, let's have a look. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, we'll have one of them there. One of them colours there. Just tuck it in and hold it down. What else have we got? I've got these as well. And I've got some pink lilies as well. Let's have a look. Right. Now then, I'm going to have another one of these at the other side. I am quite symmetrical, so you will find that if I do something on one side, I'll do it on the other. <laughs> Um, I think it adds balance and sometimes that's an easy way to build up your um, you know your flower um, clusters is the word I'm looking for is to just do it symmetrical until you get the hang of it I mean, like I say I'm still learning I'm no expert absolutely not I'm going to put another one there like that, and then I'm going to put some pink ones. Oh, these are ever so pretty. Love, love, love them. A little pink one. And another little pink one. I love pink. Pink is my favourite colour, along with black. Pink and black. Not necessarily together, but pink and black. I don't think you can go far wrong. <laughs> oh that's pretty right let's have a look at some of these let's see what we've got put a bit of colour in let's have some colour in there let's have a look no those are a little bit off right let's have a look what's these oh, we can use some of these can't we so they've got some green in right, a couple of foam roses you can't go wrong with foam roses they go with everything I'll put a couple of those in Tuck it in there a little bit better. Good thing with foam roses is you can proper squish them down and uh, it doesn't spoil them at all. Right, I'm going to have another one of these just to finish that off, and then I'm happy with that cluster. I'm just going to bob that. Oh yeah, like that. Do I want some more? Glue strands. So there we go. I don't know if you can see. We've got, there we go. We've got quite a nice uh, cluster of flowers going on here. I might just put a little bow. Shall I put a little bow there? Yeah, why not? Why not? Oh, it's come undone, is that one? Pull it tight again. Drop a glue, turn it round, let's have a look. Just pop that there, little bow. Oh, that's pretty. I might put one on the other side now because I'm symmetrical. Uh, yeah, I think I will. Mm -hmm. There we go. You can't go wrong with bows, can you, with Marie Antoinette? Because she had bows everywhere. And uh, do I want to put another layer of frilled lace around the back of there to make it even more frilly? I think I will. Yes. I think I will, because I can. Let me just trim that. I don't like uneven edges. Yes, I'm going to put, uh, I'm just going to turn it all over. I'm not going to overdo it because I think I like it as it is, but I might just add some of this to the back. 
Let me see. I'm just going to turn it that way and I'm going to start at this corner here. And I'm going to put another line of hot glue on top of the lace that's already there. And I'm going to put another, another layer. Another layer of lace right there. Like that. Just over the top. Like that. I'll trim that off in a minute. Let's have a look. Yeah, see, it's just protruding out from the other gathered lace to make it look just that little bit more... Just that little bit more luxurious. Let's see if we can get it round this corner because I'm not brilliant at it. Let's have a look. If I can do it, you can do it. I know what I'm doing. Honest, I'm a professional. <laughs> professional idiot. Yeah, my only kid. I do know what I'm doing. Ah. That needs squeezing up in that corner just a little bit more. So that it goes round properly. Let me have a look. Yeah, that's it. Getting a bit gunked up, but... Never mind. Let's pull that back a bit. Again, we want to try and get it around that corner. So because this is not a massively gathered lace, we've got to just make that little bit more effort to get it around the corner. So that it sits right. And if it's not, just pull it back and try again. Which I'm having to do here because I'm not brilliant at it. Let's have a look, try again. A bit more tuck, a bit more tuck. I'm going to end up with a big blob of glue now. I can also go around the back of there with another trim if it looks untidy. Don't matter. I probably will do anyway because I shall more than likely gift this because I never keep anything that I make myself. And uh, if it's going to somebody, I will ensure that it's nice and tidy before it goes. Blue strands! In fact, that doesn't look so bad, actually. Right. Now... We just need to cut it at the bottom. Oh, that's pretty. Yeah. Okay, let's have a look. I'm going to trim it so that this doesn't protrude below that bit because I don't want it to distract from the chiffon. I don't want it to protrude. I'm just going to, oh, I don't want to cut my chiffon. Hold on a minute. I want to make sure it's right. I don't want to. There we go. I don't want to be cutting my shift on that bin out. May have cut wrong lace off. There we go. Right. I just trim that a bit more so that it's the same at each end. Is that matching? Yeah. That's good for me, our kid. Ah, now then. That is absolutely lovely. Just got about a million glue strands, but not to worry. Uh, I think I'm going to just put a line of that one across the back there. Just to finish that off because it will bother me, I think. Will it? I won't. It. I know what I'll do. I'll put another layer of chiffon. And then that will look tidier. Will it? Shall I? <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, I know what I'll do. Because this uh, untidiness bothers me, I'm just going to put a layer of beading across there. Because it will drive me mad. Because I'm quite a precise person. And I don't like things that look untidy and unfinished. I just think there's no excuse for it. Just a few more minutes and it looks better. There we go. That's better. There we go. That's nice and tidy at the back. Let's have a look. Not too much detail. Nice flower arrangement. Nice bling. Nice bow. 
think that's really, really pretty. I just need to blast it with my heat gun to get rid of the glue strand. Let me zoom out. There you go. Pretty vintage tag using the gilded lilac. Oh my gosh, I'm not very good at this zooming in and zooming out like. <laughs> Ladies, right, this is a shot of the fa finished product. Product? Project! <laughs> I'm going to try and cut and paste it onto the end of my um, tutorial, but if not, you'll be getting this separate. Um, so this is the finished item after I'd finished um, faffing about. <laughs> um, I did make some changes to what I did in the tutorial video, and if I, I'll just zoom in, I can show you. Um, if you just look at her dress here, where the contours of the folds are, I've glittered it and I've added these tiny porcelain roses to her dress. Um, they're very, very small and you can see by the size of my finger. I've glittered the um, lilies and then I made some changes to the corners. I did have bows here, but I didn't like the way it was finished. It, there wasn't enough, so I used some seam binding, and this is from Wild Orchid Crafts. It's pre-coloured, so you don't have to uh, mess about with it, and it is absolutely stunning. So I tied it in a big, loose, floppy bow, and just, pr just popped it in the corner there, and so we've got a bit of dangle. And then across at the other corner here, I had another bow, but I didn't like the way this corner was finished. So I got another piece of wedding applique and ran it up the corner just to finish it off so that it looked really tidy. Let me zoom back out. So there we go. That is the finished. Can I zoom out a bit more? That is the finished tag. Uh, oh, and I did glossy accent the, uh, the um, little words there that says say magnifique. Um, I didn't actually use glossy accents, I used this one, which is Anita's Clear Glass. I'm sorry about the shadow, it's quite early in the morning <coughs> and I haven't um, managed to get any clamp lamps. Apparently if you get some lamps you can clamp them onto your tripod and it, it cuts out the shadow. I'll get around to it. Um, yeah, uh, this is quite good because it's got the precise nozzle. Um, it doesn't um, gunk, you know, you don't have to keep a pin in it like you do with glossy accents because I don't know why and um, obviously you've got uh, quite a nice print, uh, fine tip on that. It's alright, it, to me it does the same thing as glossy accents, don't think it'd glue, you can use glossy accents as a glue, this is just a gloss finish, don't think you can use this to glue as well. Uh, I'm not sure, uh, clear gloss finish for liquid embossing so no it's not a glue whereas your glossy accents obviously you can use as a glue as well as uh, a gloss finish can't you but this is really good because it's got like a tip and it's like a pen I've used it before on say like let me show you like here where you've got writing on you can literally it is so fine you can write over the top of writing and make that stand out and it's really cheap you get it in range I think they're like less than two pound um so there you go there's my finished tag i hope you enjoyed watching the tutorial i hope it wasn't too long i'm gonna try and cut it down thanks for watching take care and bye for now